I'm feeling really good tonight on our chances to win $50,000 on some NBA props and games action. Let's do it. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Jason Mattis with Winning Bets. Thanks for hanging out with me on this episode. That's right. It's the NBA Pick and Roll Contest over on the NBC Sports Predictor app where we can win $50,000 if we can correct some, if we can correctly predict some player props, some game props, and then give them a couple winners and some margins to go along with it. If nobody can do it, they'll give away a guaranteed $1,000 prize, and that is important because so far nobody won the jackpot last time and nobody's won the jackpot all season long, so it really looks like we're competing for $1,000, but I feel really good about our chances to win that $50,000 this week. Let's jump on into it and see how will do. All right, question one is which player is going to score the most points? To me, it's between Beal and Zion here in this matchup. This game projects as the most highest scoring game amongst the choices here, and it's also going to be the fastest pace when you get the Pelicans and the Wizards hooked up together. Both of these have a personal player prop total of 29.5, which is also the highest amongst all these other players. I'm going to go ahead and say Bradley Beal, though. Look, he's the NBA scoring champion as of right now, and he doesn't have that sidekick where Zion has a sidekick and Brandon Ingram. You know, he's got... Beal has Westbrook, but he's not the scorer that Ingram is. So, yeah, no real sidekick. Big matchup. Go ahead and give me Bradley Beal. And if you're considering Lillard there for the Trailblazers, I just think that the Spurs defense is really too tough, where this Pelicans defense is relatively soft compared to that Spurs defense. So, it's me. It's Bradley Beal. All right, the next question is, which player is going to have the most rebounds? And this one was between Westbrook and Cantor. I'm going to go ahead and say Enos Cantor. When I looked up here what these opponent teams do against rebounds to that position, the Spurs are allowing 15.4 rebounds per game to the center position, while the Pelicans are only allowing 4.8 rebounds per game due to point guards. So Enos Cantor for me. Question three is how many points are the 76ers get against the Clippers? I'm going to go ahead and say 112 to 117 points. That's a their their average of 113 is take if you take the 76ers what they do at home against what the uh, uh, Clippers allow on the road that gets you 113. So that's right in between this range. And also on the season the 76ers are averaging 114 points per game. So I like that range right there of 112 to 117. Question four is what's going to be the total point score in the Pelicans versus the Wizards? Well, I'll go ahead and say 236 and 248, and this lands really, really nicely in what the sports books set the over/under at at 242.5. Question five is how many bull, how many uh, three pointers will the Bulls make up against the Grizzlies? This one, I'm going to go ahead and say 12 to 13. Tough, tough, tw- super tight windows here, but the Bulls are making 12 per game, and the Grizzlies are allowing 13 point. 13 per game so at least you get both of these averages right here and answering this extremely tight window question six is how many bla- how many assists will the trailblazers get up against the spurs i'll say 20 to 22 this one's another really tough one where the kind of the range falls right in between two right there because uh, you get 22 there for the blazers where the spurs are allowing about 23 per game so kind of a coin flip there and i'll say 20 to 22 Question seven is, who's going to win between the 76ers and the Clippers, and what's going to be the win margin? I've got the 76ers winning this game by four. It's going to be a good, close, you know, tight, competitive game, but I think the 76ers will go ahead and pull out on their home court where they've been dominant all season long. They're now 21-5. and five. And question eight is, what's, who's going to win between the Grizzlies and the Bulls, and what's going to be that win margin? I'm going to say the Bulls will win the game by one to two points. Give me the home point. Uh, home underdog here in this one. They're only an underdog by three points. I like their chances on the home court being, you know, I think they'll pull it out here against the Grizzlies right there. So, yeah, guys, I'm feeling really good about these chances to at least win $50,000. Maybe, worst case, we can win a part of that $1,000 prize. Go ahead and hit that like button if I've been of help to you. And as always, good luck on your pick. Thanks for watching this episode of Winning Bets. I'm Jason Mattis. I'll see you again when we're celebrating the wins and making more winning bets. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more winning bets.